Hi guys, welcome back. Let's just start by addressing my pink hair. In my perfume collection video, I mentioned that I'm going to get my hair done and I told you that I am probably not gonna do anything special, just lighten it up a little bit. But obviously, I did a little bit more than that. Actually, I have been considering to doing a kind of crazy color like this for months and months and months. It was probably a couple of months before I graduated or something. But yeah, I've been going back and forth with doing this crazy color or actually I didn't want to do exactly like this it turned out to be a little bit more pink than I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit more muted purple-ish pinkish purple thing mixture but yeah I am very happy with this color this is it was called rose gold but it's basically a very muted pink and I love it so this is how it went I had very dark roots the rest of my hair was bleached a couple of times my hair is very difficult to do anything with because it's so dark i always have to bleach and i usually have to bleach it at least twice in order for things especially colors like this to show but i went to this new salon that i've never been before and it had very good reviews so the hairdresser that did my hair she was actually very good and my hair got super light with only bleaching it once and i was impressed my hair has gone through a fair amount of bleaching and this was by far the most lightest it has gone with one bleaching so i was very impressed and i only wanted to go a little bit lighter but i was looking at toners and i was like hmm since it's this light should we actually go for the pink because my plan was to go for this color a little bit later i wanted to be blonde for a while and then maybe try something like this when i get it to be quite lighter but i was like hmm should we do this and then i went for it and uh, yeah i love it it's very nice it's not everywhere even some places the color didn't pick up as much because again around this much of my hair was virgin hair and the rest of it was bleached and colored before so but yeah i'm very happy with the results and it's a very very fun color i haven't washed it yet since i did my hair the downside on this is that it does fade quite fast but honestly i think i'm gonna get bored of it in a month or so when it will be faded so that's all right I'm drinking my coffee it's almost 12 o'clock so yeah i'm still drinking my coffee i have finally done my nails i haven't done my nails in many many months i mean fake nails because i do paint my nails all the time finally did them i did them myself obviously i always do <laughs> shit myself and uh, yeah i'm very happy with them that was a long intro today i thought let's do a tutorial why not i haven't done a tutorial in many months actually <laughs> The last tutorial I did was filmed before October. It, wow, it has been a year. It has been a year. I mean, you did see it this year because I did upload it in March, I think, this year. But yeah, it was filmed approximately a year ago. Wow, it's crazy. And Halloween is coming. Ugh, I have already started with my Halloween looks, but I want to do a lot more and especially with this fun hair. Anyway, so since I have this hair, which has been a few days now, not that long, I've been only using pink eyeshadows and I love it. I really love using light pink makeup with this hair. I think until my hair fades, I will be mostly using pink eyeshadows. So I thought today I took this palette out of my collection. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. It has very beautiful pink purpley cherry tones like this. And this is actually exactly the tones that I'm looking for with this hair. So I thought why not do a full face tutorial with you guys. And I feel like this is a nice palette for the fall too there's a bit of sun coming in i try to close the blinds as much as i can if you see some reflections here and there can't do much about it let's start i'm gonna bring you in closer all right i think this is close enough you can see how pretty this hair is i love it so much also i did pick my face right before i sat down to film this video i never learned let's start i'm gonna pull the hair back this is actually i chose this color myself because my roots haven't come out yet this is a very warm brown shade i just wanted to have a little bit of a nicer transition for when my roots come out i wouldn't 
mind it if it was a little bit darker but oh well i can always go back and make this a little bit darker anyways one thing i have to say that this color makes my face look very pale my face does not look as great without makeup as it looked before i only have moisturizer which i applied quite a while ago so i'm going in with my sunscreen first this is a cosmica sun face cream with spf 50 i'm taking a very very spontaneous trip to visit my family and um, i'm gonna have to leave for the airport in a few hours instead of getting ready i'm sitting here and filming this video i usually don't do things like that like when i have something planned for the day i'm usually pretty useless <laughs> before that even if it's like the whole day i always stress or stress excite about whatever is happening later and i cannot do much during the day but now i'm being productive i am filming a video and i have to pack this was very spontaneous trip but yeah i'm going to see my family and that's gonna be nice so that's why since i'm going out a little bit later i am wearing my sunscreen and then although this sunscreen is very hydrating i am going in with a primer this is the ula Henriksen banana bright face primer i really like this primer although it's i think it's a bit pricey for what it does i mean yes sure it does have skincare in it and stuff but for a primer it's quite pricey i think it was 40 something dollars i don't know it leaves a very nice glow to the face because it does have a tiny bit of a tint to it just like the eye cream which i also have right here i would buy it again but only if it's like on sale or something because it was quite pricey but i do love how it leaves my face okay i'm gonna move on to the eyes and guys i have started using eye primers i did do a video comparing eye primers to just wearing concealer to see if they actually work and i gotta say i have started using eye primers a little bit more i need to go wet my sponge <laughs> give me a second i'm using the milani eyeshadow primer which has a little bit of a tint to it but i have come to realize that with eye primers you really don't need that much this was probably a little bit too much because they're not concealers and they do not blend and super well with the rest of the makeup or with the rest of the base products at least the eye primers that i have there might be some other ones that blend much better i did say that in that video with the linda hartberg primer that i could definitely see where the eye primer was ending it looked a little bit like a dry patch but i've noticed that this could happen with this one too if i'm not very careful blending things out a little goes a long way i'm trying to blend it out as well as i can and since the eye primer is still a tiny bit wet i'm going in with my shimmery shade first because that's what i want to stick more and look more intense so i've been using a lot this shade right here which is a very nice light pink but i was wondering maybe i should go with a different one today this is going to be my airport makeup not that i ever care about going with two tons of makeup but i think i'm gonna go in with this shade right here. as considering with going either with this one or this one i think i'm gonna go with the darker one it's quite a bit dark not gonna lie but i don't mind took a little bit on my brush and just gonna apply it on my eye i gotta say these eyeshadows are very nice and smooth but i never got into the hype of the original naked palettes they were super super hyped i mean maybe i did pass on the hype i guess i wasn't into youtube that much at the time i did start really watching youtube of the the sun is coming in closer and closer. I did start really watching YouTube in the midst of 2016. So I guess this was out. The original ones were out before that, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I didn't really get into the high of the hype at that time but i found them a little bit boring the original ones i guess they must have definitely been groundbreaking at the time for what was out at that time now that i look back at them i find them a bit boring especially because there are so many more nice eyeshadow palettes out there but this one and the naked hit palette i quite like them both of them i do have both and uh, i like them and i was quite pleasantly surprised with this how these shades look on me because sometimes super warm or like very red and coppery eyeshadows do not look that great on me okay it's looking a little bit crazy right now so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna take my morphe 25a palette and kind of set the rest of my eye because i am going in with matte eyeshadow and i don't want it 
although it's quite dry but i don't want it to stick on some places and not on some others so i don't want it to be patchy okay this shadow is quite yellow but it's okay and now i think i'm gonna first go in with feels this shade right here which is a what is it called rotten apple <laughs> whatever this shade is called it's a very muted pink shade i just washed my brushes last night and the rest of them today i've been putting off doing my brushes for the longest time and i have been doing some halloween looks and uh, they were quite dirty with face paint i finally have clean brushes okay so yeah i am just blending the edges i realized that now that i have a crazy color like like this on my hair i cannot wear anything <laughs> that i want like for example reds i mean you can do whatever you like and i know a lot of people like to combine pink and red but i personally don't think that goes that well or some shades of pink and red don't go that well i would say i have a red jacket that um, I wear all the time when I go out on walks and stuff like that and right now I'm like maybe I should get another jacket <laughs> because it doesn't go that well with this hair and uh, also I realized that I cannot wear that many red lipsticks at this moment although I haven't really tried but I'm just guessing that it won't go that well now this is looking nice I think I'm gonna go a tiny bit darker in my outer corners you do get rusty when you don't do a tutorial in over a year so i'm considering doing either this matte shade darker matte shade or this one okay i'm gonna go with the purpley one first and see how it looks and then i might go for the more brown shade i quite like this palette and i don't know if you remember i did a haul last year where i did show you what i bought during the summer basically and this was one of the palettes that i bought and i haven't really used it that much since then i've used it a few times so i'm very happy that i finally get to get it out and play with it i have so many palettes i haven't bought a palette since january the last palette that i ordered it was actually the linda albrecht infinity d palette because i didn't have that one and it was 70 percent off so i was like I'm, I'm getting it okay i think i ordered it in december and i got it or late december and i got it in january so technically i haven't bought an eyeshadow palette this year so i used to love to collect eyeshadow palettes but <laughs> at some point it does get too much i do have almost 50 eyeshadow palettes and uh, yeah that's a lot i am thinking about doing a declutter of all of my makeup at some point because i am planning on moving from this house at some point in the near future I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year probably in the beginning of next year or definitely before the beginning of summer next year because my contract also goes out and uh, i have to move anyway i was thinking about doing a declutter i have tried to reduce the size of my makeup collection although i still have a lot of makeup obviously because i do use it all the time and i haven't really been buying stuff this year i have bought so much less makeup than i usually buy i still think i do need to do a declutter before I move but I do have a hard time <laughs> getting rid of stuff in general not only makeup but especially makeup I don't know maybe I'll make a video out of it and maybe I'll show you an updated makeup collection video if that's something that you like because the last makeup collection video that i did was before i moved here actually and that was two and a half years ago probably and that's one of my most viewed videos so people still enjoy watching those i think and i still do enjoy myself watching makeup collections and uh, especially perfume collections anyways i really want to do an eyeliner but i'm also liking it the way it looks right now so i think i might do like a faded blown out eyeliner with the brown shade that i have here wow i've been talking a while and i need to hurry up my plane leaves in five and a half hours and i haven't done anything i did book my ticket a couple of hours ago so i mean i am a very spontaneous person but this was hmm, a bit extreme even for me i am only staying for basically the weekend it is wednesday today so i'm staying until saturday so not that long but it's still a few days it's nice we definitely need to blow that out 
I'm really liking this color combo and it's looking so nice with my hair. I am very looking forward to moving from this place. I guess this video turned out to try to get ready with me. I have lived in this house for two years and a few months now. And although it's very nice and very bright, it does have its negatives and it's time to move on. Moving is so stressful. It is exciting, but it's so stressful. I do have to find a new place and that's always very stressful because everything is so expensive and I am looking forward and I'm not but I do have at least three months if I move out before my contract ends then I have to give a three months notice I definitely have some time left the positive about this place is like it's very bright it has this window right here but it also has a window up there and it's like open space the ceiling is very tall I like it about that but it does have other negatives like it's super small and not much storage space I had to be very creative with where to store like vacuum cleaner and uh, cleaning stuff and uh, all these kinds of stuff you need in your everyday life but you don't want to see them every day you know yeah anyways can't complain too much it has been nice and it's also very central which i also really like mm, yeah it's looking nice kind of blowing it out as much as i can i think i'm happy with it so tell me what kind of content do you guys like to see i know i asked this question in quite a few of my videos and <laughs> Nobody usually replies, but uh, I am very interested. Like, what kind of videos do you actually like to see? Are you still interested in like tutorials and makeup related stuff? Because I do still enjoy filming like empties and favorites and uh, even makeup tutorials sometimes. But like, do people still watch it? I mean, <laughs> TikTok has ruined everybody with uh, very fast content, like new video every three seconds or five seconds. I personally still enjoy watching long videos because I usually, I don't know, I feel like I get to hang out with the other person and not just see a 30 second video. Yeah, I don't know. What do people like? Sometimes I just want to see long videos. I put it as a background noise almost when I do something else and I do enjoy it. I've been doing Halloween looks basically since the summer, although not that much or not as much as I wanted to do. I'm trying to post as much as I can on Instagram. I haven't been that good at it. I don't know why. I really enjoy doing creative stuff for Instagram because I feel like I can be as creative as I want there, but I don't know why I haven't been posting that much. Ah, this went a little bit too far up. So yeah, I have also been filming every look that I've been creating lately. And although it is a little bit more work, I've been really enjoying that. I have also started uploading on TikTok and Reels and stuff like that. I'm just trying to. <laughs> to grow as much as I can and spread my content and to try short videos and long videos and I don't know. So that's why I'm asking you like, what do you like to see? Please, please say something. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna do videos that I enjoy doing too, but I'm very curious like, what do you prefer to see? Okay, they're not completely even, but we can work with this. I think I'm gonna go in with that initial shade, just a little bit on top, because it kind of went away. Oh, I am loving these nails. Ah, by the way, I do... <laughs> After going back and forward for many, many months, much longer than with my hair, I've finally opened an Instagram account for my nails. Mostly because, I mean, I'm no nail expert or whatsoever. I kind of suck at doing nail art, but I mostly opened it to make myself do more nail art because I usually just do a plain color. And okay, I'm gonna let the ambulance pass. Coffee was so good. So yeah, I usually do just one plain color and I have so many beautiful nail polishes and I always say like, oh, I need to do more nail art. I need to do more nail art. Okay, it's coming closer, not going away. Okay, now it went away. So yeah, I always say that, like I need to do more of that and I never do. So this way I'm kind of pushing myself to do more. And I have done some nail arts, if you want to call it, that kind of sucked. And I will never see the light of day. This beautiful flowers right here are stickers. Yeah, because I'm not at that level yet, so. But I really love the way they look. I love white nail polish, or this is actually poly gel. Anyways, let's move on with a tutorial because I really thought this would 
be a shorter video because usually tutorials tend to be shorter because I don't talk. I usually speed up the process, but this is getting long. But I am enjoying. I am enjoying catching up with you guys. Uh, yeah, at this point, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I have some fallout. I'm just going to do my foundation, I guess. So I'm gonna be mixing the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation with my Fenty East Shots Foundation. This is a very yellow foundation. I have this one in two shades, in 145 and 135, I think the other one is. And I love the shade range that they have. I love that they have more yellowy, olivey undertones because I always struggle with finding yellow enough foundations for my skin tone. But I wore it the other day and it doesn't look too light for me, but I don't know, I feel like it looked yellow, but gray yellow is usually for the warmer undertones which i have but it kind of looked gray i'm not sure if it's like too light or too gray i haven't really noticed that before but i really don't know what's happening so that's why i decided to mix those two because this is a little bit more darker because i use this all summer long i'm gonna do like a pump of this and a little bit of this yeah like there is quite a bit of difference here i tried one time a I think it was a tinted moisturizer or I don't know what it was. It was a sample of a Korean skin tint or tinted moisturizer, I don't remember. And that was pure gray. <laughs> like I looked like a zombie. I couldn't even believe like how can they make a foundation so gray? Like who has gray undertone? I, I get cool undertone, like pink cool undertone, but gray, that was like straight out gray. So I was like, yeah, thank you, but no thanks. I'm never gonna buy this particular product. I'm using my clean. <laughs> Cosmetics Love is a foundation brush, which I really love. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and It Cosmetics usually comes out with a brush like this during the October or for that season, I would say. <laughs> no, it was clean. This sucks. Just my luck. Okay, I'm gonna take my Cinema Secrets brush cleanser or cleaner, which heals 99.99% of the bacteria. That's nice. I don't have another foundation brush clean. We're just gonna roll with this. If I break out, <laughs> you'll know why. You know, I always used to apply my foundations with brush and I usually use the flat top kabuki brush before, but then I switched to just using a blending sponge or a beauty blender or whatever. I love the way it applies with a sponge a lot more, but it does soak up a lot of product. Sometimes with light foundations like this, I do need as much coverage as I can get. So yeah, although I did have a very long phase, probably last like a couple of years or so, with only using sponge, now I'm kind of going back to brushes. I still think that with a sponge it looks the most flopless. I am going in with a sponge on top of it anyway. All right, that's looking nice. Now I'm going gonna go in with my concealer. My under eye bags look so crazy right now. I'm going in with my favorite dose of colors. The Meteor Hue Concealer in the shade 11. By the way, I mentioned that this Fenty foundation was in the shade 145 and the East Drops is in the shade 5. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I'm blending it. I've been recording for 45 minutes. I always tell myself like I need to do shorter videos because it takes so long to edit. I always end up talking too much, I guess. I'm not gonna set it yet because I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I did really struggle with setting my under eyes. If I could, I wouldn't set them at all, but they do crease. And uh, I find that no matter what powder I put, and I do have powders that are very nice for drier skin types, but I feel like it always ends up looking a little bit cakey and somehow they end up looking a little bit darker than they are initially, like the shade of the concealer or the color of the powder itself. Then I d just decided to not not to set them at once and to let them dry a little bit, they are going to crease, I am aware, but what I do, I let them sit as much as I can and then I'll just go and remove any creases that may have formed and I know that this might not be perfect and it might not work with every concealer and after the concealer is kind of dried, I then go ahead and set it and I feel like this way it looks less cakey and it doesn't really change the color of my concealer and that's because if you apply 
powder straight on top of wet concealer it will kind of absorb a lot more of it and it will end up looking a little bit more cakey while if it's kind of dry it will not absorb as much powder as it would something like this i don't know i feel like it does work most of the time sometimes i still might get creasing i don't know so this is what i have been doing lately and i feel like it works a little bit better for me at least it doesn't make my eyes look darker and drier or cakier that's a win for me although they might not look perfect i feel like this technique helps because i was just so over having cakey under eyes even though i use like the tiniest amount of product or powders that are like the smoothest and super nice for dry under eyes I still feel like I haven't perfected my under eye game. Okay, so I'm gonna let it dry as much as I can. I'm gonna do my bronzer, cream bronzer it is. I recently took out of my collection my Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face color bronzer in the shade Bondi Bay because I was using the Milk Makeup Bronzer. That thing will never finish. This, on the other hand, I only have about this much left. This has finished a lot faster than my Milk Makeup. I feel like everything will finish a lot faster than that. I need something to clip my hair. Anyways, I haven't used this bronzer in quite a while and I do like to rotate through my things. I do have three cream bronzers at the moment. This one, my Milk Makeup and my Fenty Cream Bronzer, which has become my favorite favorite for sure but i did hit pan on that thing already and uh, i'm trying not to use it as much let's blend it out i've been liking this real techniques this is the this is quite old the expert face brush for blending out my cream bronzer because it does cover a nice area but it's also not too wide oh my god i need to pack i'm not taking that much stuff but i still need to take like toiletries and a few clothes and stuff like that yeah anyways this is looking nice i like to warm up my face with this hair color because again it does make me look a little bit paler and my skin a little bit more dull and cool tone if i don't wear makeup in general this is so creamy it's a little bit creamier than my milk makeup bronzer that one's a bit stiffer i do not swipe like this i kind of buff it in because i don't want to disturb the foundation that i have underneath so i always do this with cream products on top okay i might have gone a little bit too far with this i'll just go in with my sponge which has a little bit of the concealer and just kind of cover it up a little bit so that it goes a bit higher yeah, that's better. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna do my brows, obviously. I'm gonna be using my deep brow pomade. I don't think I'm gonna film this because it's just boring. I've done it like a million times, so see you soon. Okay, we're back. I need to wrap up this video because my battery on my computer is dying, which I use as a screen to see myself, to see what I'm doing. Phone is dying. My camera will probably die too. I need to wrap this up. Yeah, I did my brows. Everything looks so much better with brows. But now I'm gonna set them with my Linda Albrecht Infinity Power Brows Brow Gel and Mascara. I personally never use it as a mascara, but as a brow gel, it's very good. Yeah, it's almost drying out and I need to get a new one because I cannot leave without brow gel. I don't know what I did before brow gel. After starting using a good brow gel, I can never live without it anymore. All right. As you can see, now my under eye has some creasing. I'm just gonna go in with the sponge, try to remove as much as I can. I'm gonna take my powder. Right now I'm using the Linda Albrecht Infinity Filter powder in the shade light. And I usually take some with my puff and dust it off and then apply it on my hand to remove as much product as I can. And then I go and apply it on my eyes. And after using this technique, which I let my concealer dry a little bit, I have seen a Actually how blurring this powder is. I've been using it for quite a while and when I applied it straight on my under eyes I almost couldn't see how blurring it was. It kind of just became a little bit cakey but now I can really see that it is a very blurring powder. So I haven't dipped my puff inside anymore. I'm just using whatever product I have on my hand. It works much better I think this way. Still it's not perfect but I don't think it will ever be perfect because we do have creases and uh, I'm only getting older. So so that's fun. I sometimes set my under eyes at the end after I have done my cream blush and highlighter. But today I just did it this way. Oh, I'm loving this hair color. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not 100% used to it in a good way. Like, I love it. When I see myself on the mirror, I still can't believe that 
it's me. Anyways, so I'm gonna be using a cream blush or a liquid blush to be more correct. This is the NARS liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. I have this one in another warmer picture shade. I don't remember what it's called. I bought that one first and then I bought this one and you need to shake it very well because it separates. It hasn't gone bad or anything. It's quite new actually, but this is a very nice cooler tone pink, but I use it now because I feel like it really matches with everything. Actually, I don't have that many NARS products and I never had the powder orgasm blush because again, I was never like super impressed by it or like with a color. I don't know why if it was hyped that much. It's quite cool toned in my opinion. So yeah, I put some on my hand and kind of spread it a little bit. I might apply some on my face. Then I go in with my sponge, take from here. And yeah, I feel like NARS is a bit on the quite pricier side. I mean, it's not like super, super high-end. It's not like luxury high-end, but it's more on the pricier side of the high-end brands. So that's why I don't have that many products from them. I do like them as a brand, I think. Like they do some nice, good quality stuff. But these liquid blushes, I've been quite enjoying them. It looks so nice. I love how this makeup look is turning out. Now that I have my brows and my concealer and everything. Do I need a little bit more? I might go in with a little bit more, a tiny, tiny bit more. I love, love blush. I always love blush. But now with the, all the cream and liquid blushes, I'm just loving it. All right. I think that should do it. I like to bring it up quite a bit high. Now I'm gonna go in with my cream highlighter. This is my Colourpop Super Sharp Cheek in the shade Fire from my Project and Pan. I have about this much left. I'm quite over this highlighter. It's drying out more and more every day and I'm just over it at this point. It's not like super, super glowy as I want it to be because at this point when it kind of dries out, it's kind of leaves only the glitter and not like the nice shine. I don't know. I have quite a bit left actually. I don't know. I really want to finish it up and not throw it away. This is where we are at that right now. And on top of that, I'm gonna go, since it's not giving me as much glow as I want, I'm gonna go in with a powder highlighter. This is the Sephora Face Shimmering Powder in the shade Delicate Glow. I was very pleasantly surprised by this highlighter. This is the Sephora brand. I wanted to mention it in my summer favorites video, but I forgot and I felt bad about it. Let's get a highlighter brush. This is a great highlighter. I started using it a little bit. I mean, I love the shade. It's a very nice warm champagne shade. And look at this glow. I started using it a little bit because I bought it. It looks so nice, it has a nice pattern and everything. But then I couldn't put it down and I realized that I like it quite a bit. But now what I'm gonna do is take my setting spray. This is a Mario Badesco setting spray with the cucumber one, the green one. Again, from my Project Tempan. Let me take my fan, help it dry. This is gonna melt everything together and make it more glowy, although I don't have that many powders. So now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I think it's about time. Lately I've been really liking doing eyeshadow on the lid and not on my lower lash line. It kind of makes the eyes look a little bit bigger, but I haven't done a whole eyeshadow on my lower lash line thing since a while now. I'm gonna go with the darker purple shade that we had with a thinish a little bit flat blending brush. It's not super thin. It's going to help with blending out the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go kind of a thin line in my lower lashes. I used to do this all the time. I love these brushes, this Juno & Co brand. They're so beautiful and actually very good brushes. And they were very cheap too. Uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna go with a bit of a fluffier, but still a flat blending brush with this shade right here, which I had on my crease to blend everything out. Kind of mix everything so that it's not any harsh lines. I've done this thing like millions of times before. I'm liking this look. It's very pink, <laughs> especially with the hair, but I don't mind it. I think I'm happy with it. And now I'm just gonna go in with my liner brush and that brown that I used for my eyeliner. And I'm just going to make the line a little bit more, although this is a blown out eyeliner, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more distinct because with all the concealer and the blending, we kind of lost it a little bit. Just a tiny bit on the edge. Just like that, kind of connected a little bit with the lower lashes and blend it inwards. I'm even gonna go in with the brush that I blended and give it a little bit more blend. I might have ruined it. It's okay. 
Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's why we have blending brushes. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Be more careful on this side. It's getting quite cold outside and I'm not ready for winter. I feel like the summer flew by. I'm just gonna go in with my mascara now because I think the more I touch it, the more I will ruin it. So let's do that. I'm using my Maybelline Sky High mascara because that's the only mascara that I have. Curling my lashes that I never used to do before until I bought this lash curler from Seshado. I also talked about this in my favorites. And yeah, I would definitely use lashes with this look, but it can't be bothered right now. I would use, maybe I will do it, like kind of half lashes. These are accents from Ardell, I think. I have so much stuff to do. So little time. I have max three and a half hours to do everything and to leave out the door. I love a good challenge. <laughs> I don't. I don't like stressing to pack and leave. This mascara is not my favorite. Again, I don't tend to go for um, wands like this. I usually prefer volumizing mascaras. But yeah, it does give you the length, but I don't know, it's not my personal favorite. I might end up going for those lashes. I am ruining this look. Does somebody have a party outside? I can hear some music. This video has been quite relaxing to film up until this point, which I really need to wrap things up. Okay, a little bit on my lower lashes, not that much. I don't like to do them very intense. And I'm actually gonna put some inner corner highlights. Do people still do that? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this lighter shade. This brings back memories. I feel people still do this. It was probably just me that kind of stuff for a little bit. I want it a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna go in with my highlighter right on top of it. I need a little bit nose contour just because I feel like it doesn't have any kind of color. Yeah, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution bronzer, Bronzer Reloaded in the shade Take a Vacation. This is a very nice, it's a big bronzer. It doesn't deposit too much color. So I'm going in with a flat, a little bit fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 227. Honestly, I just want to give a little bit color on my nose because I have so much things going on everywhere else and I feel like it deserves a little bit of warmth, a little bit of color. I'm not good at contouring my nose. I just do whatever, to be honest. Now the last thing is the lips and I'm gonna be using my Primark lipstick in the Desert Sound. And yes, I have I have finished everything else and I've started using whatever's left in this part of the lipstick. I know, I went there. I think you're supposed to use this because this feels exactly the same like the actual lipstick. So I think it's just some extra lipstick if you finish the product. So correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm not really supposed to be using this and I'm doing something stupid, but I I think it's okay to use it. I'm going in with my Linda Hallberg lip brush. This is the 301 because how else would I apply this? I mostly use this lipstick as a blush, as you know, but now with this hair color, I really like it as a lipstick. It's a nice color. I always like the color. It's just, it doesn't smell that great. It smells like cheap lipstick which it is. It always smells like this. It's not that it has gum butter or anything. That's why I didn't really like to use it on my lips, but it's a nice shade. I don't want to overline too much. This is good enough. This is my life at this point. It's good enough. <laughs> Putting my Fenty Gloss on top, it's a great combo. I used this combo in an old video and I was watching it the other day. It just looks so nice. I was like, I need to do this again, especially since both of these products are my project tampon. Yeah. This looks nice. Is this too pink for you? <laughs> this is a finished look. I do need to remove that mascara that I accidentally went on my liner. Okay, that's a lot better. Tell me, what do you think? Would you wear this much pink? I feel like it's nice to wear pink eyeshadows with my pink hair. For now, I will be wearing mostly pink eyeshadow. Yeah, until this color fades. Anyways, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was, again, quite relaxing for me to kind of catch up with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.